left first time round. And she said, we want these changes made. And I said, Nina, I'm sorry, I don't think I can do this. And she said, well, why not? And I said, because I don't know how to make it worse. You see, I would be trying to make it better, and that's not, right. <laughs> not what you're after. Um, mm -hmm. you know, and it, it really infuriates me that there are so many people. Again, it's control. You see, when people get anxious, they want to control things, even if they haven't the slightest idea what they're doing. Well, and almost all of your biggest successes, I think it's safe to say, like, uh, I mean, the Faulty Towers, that famous note, I don't know if you've seen this, but it, it went viral. One of the BBC executives' response oh, yes. to it said something like, do you remember? Well, he said, uh, he said it is, uh, the characterization is, is cliched and the uh, very tired situations. I can't see Faulty Towers as being anything other than a complete disaster. <laughs> Two years ago, voted best British television program ever made. And the guy whose job it words. was to, to assess to, <laughs> And even the director who, who uh, commissioned it, I mean, the producer who commissioned it after the first show, he said, you've got to get people out of the hotel, John. Completely <laughs> wrong. And A Fish Called Wanda was rejected by how many studios? A uh, Fish Called Wanda was rejected by 11 studios Incredible. out of 12. MGM went with it. And far worse, Life of Brian. You, oh, yeah. No one would touch it, right? Nobody. Life of Brian, again, Tell voted recently best please. British comedy of all time. I mean, I don't take that too seriously, but it means that it's up there with the the best and uh, we, we we couldn't get money in in england we came to america we couldn't get money here it was t the budget budget was three million dollars not a lot even in the late 70s and nobody wanted to make it and then as i say it's best british, british comedy ever made well, but tell them the oh the lovely thing about it we thought that it was never going to be made and then eric rang and said we're gonna we got the money and, and i said what are you talking about and he said George Harrison is going to put the money up. He's a good pal of Eric's. And I said, well, what are you talking about? He said, I gave him the script last night. He read it in bed, said he fell out of bed laughing, and he's <laughs> putting the money up. I said, but he, he's bought all the money. He says, yes, he's going to, he's going to um, mortgage his house. And then Eric said, well, I asked him up. why. <laughs> and, <laughs> and he said, well, I want to see the film. <laughs> She's wonderful. Bless him up there. Yeah. Bless him, because otherwise we wouldn't have life at home. He must have done quite well off of that movie. Well, I hope so. I mean, not like he needed it after the Beatles, but... <laughs> That's incredible. What a 